My parents were really into musicals. They loved, you know, West Side Story and My Fair Lady and Sound of Music and all those great movies. And I grew up in New York City, actually, so I saw a fair share of, of Broadway shows. I saw a chorus line when I was seven. Wow. Which was pretty inappropriate. And then <laughs> I saw Follies in Concert when I was like 10, which was also kind of inappropriate. <laughs> also wildly inappropriate. <laughs> and, I was, and in my high school, there was this, I mean, in my elementary school, we had this great uh, music teacher who kind of basically took over the school. You know, the fifth and sixth graders didn't learn anything mm -hmm. and just did a show. And my, you know, mine was um, uh, West Side Story in fifth grade. I got to be, a, I played a, a jet, even though I was like the only Spanish <laughs> kid in school. Um, <laughs> that makes sense. So yeah, so I started, I, and then, then I started writing um, musical, you know, songs for my little theater group. So I kind of, I was indoctrinated very early. And it started writing music. It never seemed like a like something kids couldn't do to me because my piano teacher um, made me made me write songs every week. So I was forced to write. And then, um, and then you know, puberty hits and you kind of want to express yourself. So. Yeah. It, it, you know, looking back, I was kind of, I never had a chance. <laughs> Do you remember some of those songs you wrote when you were a kid? Yeah, I wrote, I wrote, a, my first song was called Oy Vey, What a Day. <laughs> I knew there were, were going to be gems in there. At least certainly when I graduated college, liking musicals was not at all cool. It was not part of the popular culture. It was sort of, it labeled you as, you know, something else. Um, and I've always loved musicals, but um, I always wanted to write something that, Connected with a large, you know, group of my peers and all that. So, so I, um, you know, that's how I've I've always tried to write shows that I'd want to see and that my friends from college would want to see. Yeah. Um, and I think that's part of that's part of how the, an art form stays relevant. That people don't treat it like this something else that's has, you have to follow rules or whatever. Um, you know, not this. You need a nun, a dog, and Abraham Lincoln. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> and you just have nuns and dogs and Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> Forever, um, but